Today we will be joining the new front wheel bearings with the restored steering knuckles. We also installed the new steering housing dust covers, the new front control arms, the new stabilizer links, new steering ball joints, and the newly assembled front suspension. Now let's get cracking. Let's start by joining the new wheel bearings with the restored steering knuckles. We bought the Haynes repair manual for the Volvo 850, which includes all the torque specs we will need to know. Steering housing dust covers. <laughs> now, let's see if we can get back there somewhere. Just a simple tie wrap. Well, define simple. Maybe we need a clip bang. Uh, maybe you could use the grinder? Play. No, no play, that's good. While getting the left steering ball joined off, we had to heat the nut which melted the old steering housing cover, so we decided to replace them on both sides. Oh, I had it next. <laughs> oh, damn it. Is he not up? Yeah, he must up, yeah. Looks in the max. No. Well. Oh. Yeah, for some reason the new clips didn't fit, so we just Back use the old ones. Yep, sting together nicely. We wrote down the amount of turns it took to get the old steering ball joints off. This should ensure the alignment should be somewhat similar when installing the new ones. Of course we'll get the car realigned before getting it on the road again. Twelve and a quarter turns. New stabilizer links. Gotta love all those new shiny parts, right? Yes.
guess our next tool we'll need to invest in is a rubber hammer. Bites the dust. Uh, watch out, copyright. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes, right? We're just glad we found out now instead of when we're driving, because then when we steer left, we would, we would go right, you know? Bruh. That doesn't make any sense at all. Here it comes. Probably be easier if we replace the axles first, but well, we hadn't ordered them yet and we wanted to make some progress, so yeah, we'll just have to deal with it. We should watch Kupo again sometime. Yes. Oh, yeah, my hand stuck again. So yeah, that's about all the work we can do today. Next step will be um, replacing the axles and then we'll have to replace everything that has something to do with the brakes. So yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.